pounds for Isaias, and the um, timing and the amount is still um, not certain. But uh, should the uh, funds come in by uh, August, then we can count them towards this year's budget, towards our operations for this year, and um, it should be one hundred fifty to two hundred thousand dollars in that neighborhood. So we will let you know. Uh, the investment income is down one hundred thirty thousand dollars. And that's uh, due to our short term rates, which we've discussed previously. And uh, finally, our department charges have a slight deficit of $56,000. Um, although we do have a shortfall in transportation fees, I, I do have to say the town clerk fees are just going crazy. So we have a $30,000 surplus of town clerk fees, which is about an $80,000 budget, roughly. So it's 70, 80,000. So um, they're just recording like crazy down there. Finally, and transfers in, I want to make a comment about police private duty. The way private duty works is the um, uh, town uh, receives private duty revenue, and those revenues are used to offset expenditures in and uh, the benefits related to uh, FICA and Medicare and uh, the retirement and all the things that are related to the payroll that we have to pay as a result of the private duty. So we collect the fees, then we pay the expenses. So uh, private duty is down significantly this year. It hasn't been a lot at all, really. So uh, there's going to be a, a deficit in the revenues of about fifty-five, sixty thousand dollars. There will be a corresponding savings in benefits, however. So it's sort of a pass-through. I just wanted to mention that. Uh, and expenses, the billing official is um, probably have a surplus of about fifteen thousand dollars, and most of that's in part-time part wages. Billing official typically works as necessary, so sometimes he does not have to work with his complete schedule. Uh, the transfer station does have a surplus in expenditures, is uh, about fifty thousand uh, dollars. We do have a surplus of eighty-five to seven thousand in waste disposal, but that's offset by recycling and bulky costs. So bulky waste is something that we is like um, when you bring stuff to the transfer station, it's like you know furniture or construction debris, things of that nature. Uh, some towns do charge for that, and so we looked into that previously uh, to charge for that and bring it over the scale. Uh, Orange, for instance, just started charging for bulky waste. Uh, they were previously just um, non-residents, but now they've started charging residents. So something to think about. Uh, and finally, uh, Human Services has a surplus of about $15,000. That's due to wage savings. And uh, benefits, as I indicated earlier, is at $215,000. There is um, a number of items in that, including uh, some savings in health care and workers' compensation and the private duty costs that I mentioned. You're on mute, I think. When the Board of Ed, Tom, you'll deal with that one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else, Tony? Nope, that's it. That's it? Okay. Uh, let's see. Next is funding requests. Okay. All righty. Uh, the first request is a line item transfer. Um, it's a request for additional funding uh, for additional cleaning and sanitizing of the firehouse, and it's a, a grant, I guess. Um, anything on that, Tony, you want to mention? Yeah, the, just that we, we're doing this in six month increments not knowing what the cleaning will be like or if necessary. Okay. So um, we were supposed to, this is my, he, was, he had requested it in January and he was an oversight, which is why it's, they see the memo from the chief is January. It should have been in your January. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll move acceptance of um, line item transfer 2021-22 in the amount of 10,560. Second. Second. Any discussion on that? Hearing none. Um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Any, aye. any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. It's unanimous. Next is line item transfer 2021-23 in the amount of ten thousand dollars, and it's for additional tree work uh, through through the public works. Um, 
I'll move acceptance of uh, line item transfer 2021-23 in the amount of $10,000. Second. Any discussion on that? It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, all those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained? No. Okay, good. Um, and I believe that's it. Next is approval of lease purchase agreement for the police department server replacement. You want to run that through us, Tom? Sure. The police department is uh, phase two of our infrastructure and IT upgrades. The town uh, and I replaced ours, uh, I would say it's been a year and a half ago. And uh, we have a new uh, IT, we put in all new switching and, and uh, cabling and a new server at the firehouse, which is where our server is located, because it was the best location for it. Um, it comes with a complete backup package. And um, so the second phase of that is police who have equally older, if not older infrastructure than ours was. So um, we uh, went out to, uh, it's being des it was designed in the assistance of um, Sean DeRosa. He helped us out a lot on this project. and. Uh, so the uh, selectman approved the purchase price of $226,202. So um, the idea is to lease this uh, equipment and it has a five year um, life. And so we lease it over five years. And so Chase was the um, low bid, the 1.89% annual uh, interest rate. So, you don't need to anything for us on this, do you? The new, what's that? You don't need anything for us on this. You usually you, you vote lease purchasing. All right, well, the, you have to just approve the lease. That's all. Well, all right. I'll make a motion that we approve the lease of the police department IT infrastructure with a purchase price of 226-202.08. Um, and it's a lease purchase through Chase with a rate of 1.89% for five annual payments in arrears. A second. Okay. Any questions for Tony on this? I just have a quick question, Tony. This is with the enhanced security features that were been talked about over the last 12 or 15 minutes. That's correct. It helps to uh, police to become, um, a, you know, they, they have some, um, yes. It's important. It'll help, out, it'll help out a lot in that respect. Yeah. And it allows, it allows for uh, redundancy. So if their server crashes, theirs is redundant on our server and ours will be on theirs. So if one or other server crashes for some reason, it just flips automatically so you don't really lose anything. I think it's important that the community understand that and I think it's a miracle that I understand that. But thank you. <laughs> okay, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, we're all here, so that's six zero. All right, next is um, approval of minutes of our monthly March 18th, 2021 may meeting. And I'll move acceptance of the minutes of March 18th as presented. Second. Second. Any corrections, adjustments, and anything? Hearing none, all those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained? Okay. Uh, number six is first selection report. Beth, you have anything else to say? Uh, not really. I just can give you a couple happy news for you know a couple things that happened at the board selection meeting. Um, we finally uh, finalized the names of the residents who are going to be part of the uh, ad hoc housing study committee, which was related to the zoning commission. Um, Terry Schatz has agreed to go on the 2020 task force, which is great, a good addition. Um, Two, two good things. Uh, last, the National Animal Control Officers Appreciation Week, and May second through eighth upcoming is the fifty second annual Professional Clerks Week. So we've done proclamations for that, and tomorrow night I'll be at Beach Road School um, giving a staff appreciation proclamation. And um, everybody knows we have an election on Monday, May third. This is my PSA part. And absentee ballot applications are available. There's a ballot box in front of town hall. And on Wednesday, May 5th, is the annual Amity budget referendum. And again, applications, absentee ballot applications are available for both. And uh, that's it. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, next is liaison reports. Um, I had an Amity meeting tonight, so this is my third meeting. Uh, <laughs> I'll briefly uh, the the forecast. Uh, we had a, a jump of 452,000 to surplus, so the surplus now stands at 732,000, and a lot of it is uh, adjustments to salaries, et cetera, and COVID-related things. So. Here we go. You know, as we get closer to the year end, the, the surplus starts to jump. But let's see what happens. For now, it's uh, 732,000, and we continue to underspend our. I just I say it every month, so I'm going to say it again. Uh, we continue to underspend our uh, the budget for um, medical expenses this month by 133,000, um, cumulative 861,000, and. That's why we, they were able to lower their budget because they finally listened and cut this down. So um, that's about it. Nothing else. They just uh, they wanted to defend this this increase in their surplus, and they gave all the reasons. So. That's the Matt. That was the um, volatility, and I was mentioning earlier yeah. about the surplus funds. You, never, you know, it would be it would be more um, it would be better if it was on the budget creation than on the surplus at the. Yes, exactly, exactly. Because their revenue increases too, which caused it. Uh, they got they got money in for some of their programs. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Next on the list, Tom Kenefect. Do you have anything? No, I wasn't able to make the meeting, Matt, so I don't have a report tonight. Okay, Tom Handler. Um, so uh, more good news from Beecher. Um, you, if you saw in the packet, they're now predicting a surplus. Um, so now their uh, surplus is about eleven thousand uh, dollars because of uh, favorable uh, changes in medical insurance, um, some released encumbrances for life insurance, and some of the nursing services. I'll just say again that I think that uh, Dr. Bud is doing a great job looking at things. He's starting to look at some other thing. You know, now that the budget process is pretty much over with, they're starting to look at. He's starting to look at other changes that it could be made and and trying to see if they can find some revenue generating um, programs for the after school and others. So I'll just say that they're doing a great job. Um, I think we I think you've seen that they're looking at possibly leasing um, hardware computers and, and laptops. Um, I, I, I don't remember, Tony, if that's made it into the budget for this year. It probably did. Probably. Um, I know we have some um, funds in the budget for the capital budget for infrastructure and uh, other related and, items. And, and this may be for next for next year, not in this year's budget that they're looking to instead of purchasing um, laptops and desktops to, to go into a leasing program, not that it would necessarily save uh, money to lease, but it would make it more consistent as to have money to, you know, get in, in a better re you know, replacement cycle. Um, but as I said, I think Dr. Bud is really looking at some innovative ways to try to bring things under control, which I applaud. I think it's, I think it's a, certainly a, a attributable to him that uh, when he came in, I think we were staring at like a hundred and ten thousand dollar deficit. Is that right, Tom? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. He's turned. You know, and again, a lot of us questioned uh, his predecessor's hiring or his intent to hire eight teachers without telling anybody. And they eventually hired four teachers, and I, I think he must have seen uh, seen that. And uh, so it's 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 a uh, something we have to definitely mention that we went from having to fund uh, uh, us being the the town to fund a deficit of 110, and now we're looking at possibly getting back a few dollars. So that's that's a great help, I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, looking at Susan Jacobs, that beautiful uh, picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> the um, library is continuing its yeoman's efforts to be open, be accessible to the public. I think the summer is going to see some big changes in the hours that they're offering. They're still looking for uh, children's librarian um, to participate at that level. I think that's, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, the fire department was supposed to meet tonight. They canceled their meeting. I just want to join. Those who said that the, uh, Tony and his department just did a phenomenal job. I thought it was a really good budget presentation. And I really appreciate the clarity of all that. 
I just wanted to clarify something Beth said. Uh, the election is May 3rd, but in addition to absentee ballots, there will be in-person voting, correct? So people who want to vote can vote. Yeah, the polls are open. Thank you, Susan. I wanted to try to be beef, but you're absolutely correct. The polls are open from 6 in the morning to 8 p.m. Right. Thank you. Correct. Thank you. Hey, Ellen, do you have anything? I'm, I wasn't able to attend human services, so no, okay. no report. And Mr. Paul, Board of Selectmen, Courier Coast, what about you? <laughs> um, very well, Matt, thank you. Um, the police commission, uh, uh, police commission meeting was canceled th for this month, so I have nothing to report. Okay. So you have, what, let's see, you have a couple more meetings with us, right? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. Okay. Look forward to seeing it. All right. Uh, next is a um, review of public hearing comments. Obviously, there weren't very many, but does anybody have any comments about the public hearing itself? Okay. Any additional considerations anybody would like to bring up? Okay. So, I guess, Tony, you need a recommendation uh, of what we're going to present at the annual town meeting? Where is he? Tony. You lose him? I'll read them for you. Yep. Okay. The, is that what you want me to read them for you? Well, you want me? I, I, the, you're talking yeah. about expenditures, non tax revenues. Correct. Expenditures, yeah. non tax revenues. You know. Amount to be raised by taxes. Yeah. And the mill rate. Okay, yeah. I'll do it. Okay, so in, in, in anticipation of our annual town meeting, what's the date of that, Karen? May what? You know, 17th, May 17th, uh, we recommend that um, we present to the town uh, a, a budget with total expenditures of $51,566,481, non tax revenues of $3,502,676, amount to be raised by taxes. $48,063,805, uh, which will result in a mill rate of 42.64. Anybody like to second that? I'll second that motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Anybody, anybody opposed? Okay. I guess we have a budget. Anything else to come before this meeting? Okay, well, thank you all for coming to both meetings, and uh, we'll see you at the town meeting in uh, May 17th, you said? Yep. Well, we'll, see, we'll see what kind of town meeting it is. That's to be determined. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you, Good night.